All right, so we're here looking at what a reaction mechanism is or what we could be asked about that. So consider the two-step mechanism to the right, showing that NO, nitrogen monoxide, and oxygen make NO3, not nitrate, just nitrogen trioxide. That nitrogen trioxide reacts with another NO to make two NO2s. So throughout this reaction, we're saying that we've got a collision here that then makes them stick together to turn into this. That would be a bimolecular collision. And then another bimolecular collision. That thing that we made ran into another molecule that's just kind of hanging out here to make our product. So with the overall reaction, what we do is we combine and cancel. A lot like a net ionic or like um, other things that we'll do with um, electrochemistry and thermodynamics, we see that all of these things on the left are our reactants, all of these things on the right are our products, but NO3 appears on both sides. In this one, there is no catalyst. A catalyst is defined as something consumed in an early step and remade in a later step. We don't have any of that. But NO3, we already talked about it. We're going to end up crossing it off um, because it's made in an early step and then later consumed. Um, if we are told that the rate law is rate equals, remember rate laws are always rate equals. It's an equation for rate. K. Um, this times that, or this to the first, that times the first, that means our slow step includes one and exactly one NO and one and exactly one O2, which is what step one does. So the rate law is always determined by the slow step. This guy down here for our second one, we've got some different things happening. We've got NO, a lot of the same stuff, N2O2, N2O2 and hydrogen making N2O and water, N2O and hydrogen making N2 and H2O. So a lot to combine and actually a lot to cancel in this case. So um, NO is here on the left. There's hydrogens on the left, but the N2O2 cancels with this N2O2. The N2O cancels with this N2O. So those go away, leaving us with N2 and two H2Os. Um, so we would want to make sure that that reaction makes sense and is also balanced, which it is. If we are asked, is a mechanism possible or correct? One of the ways we can prove it is with the, quote, stoichiometry, just showing that all of the steps do add up to our overall step. We notice a few intermediates that we canceled here, made, then consume, made, then consume. So then the rate law is based upon the slow step. So the thing that slows us down is when N2O2 and hydrogen collide. The problem with that, we've got that right there, N2O2 isn't an intermediate, so it can't be in the rate law. So we use a weird thing called a steady state approximation. You won't see this a lot, but it's good to be familiar with it because it's how we come up with weird coefficient or weird orders other than zero, one, or two. So reaction one is an equilibrium. We have not covered equilibrium yet. We're going to, but the idea is that it's going back and forth, but it's going back and forth by definition of equilibrium at an equal rate. So the rate of the forward, which is what would happen with NO running into NO, and the rate of the reverse, the N2O2 breaking back down, are equal to one another. So I put somewhat arbitrarily here, well, I could make a rate law for each one. It's an elementary step. Well, this one would be second order with NO because NO has to run into NO, and then the rate would be K that second order, the rate of the reverse, oops, would be K times the chemicals that run into each other, which is just that single molecule, unimolecular um, collision. So then if I rearrange this a little bit, the problem once again is that I can't have an intermediate up there. So if I rearrange it, I say N2O2 equals KF over KR NO squared. And the weird thing here is that the K forward, we don't know what that is. We haven't calculated it. The K reverse, we don't know what that is. We haven't calculated it. So this quote new K right here, we can just say, well, that, and I've done this wrong.
Sorry, I am getting stuck here. Oh, sorry. I thought that was on the bottom of a fraction. I'm going to add a little space so you will just be confused by what I'm confused by. And I apologize there. So it's that times this. So I just divided that over. That is a quotient. So what I'm basically doing is saying that this k, which we actually will eventually maybe calculate, is related to the forward and the reverse there. But that doesn't matter. The thing that I can do is say that NO squared substitutes in right there. So because this was a fast equilibrium and because the second step was the slow step, that slow step determines my rate law. So it has to have those chemicals. And then I subbed that guy in. A little bit weird, um, but kind of the hardest or more most advanced we could look with the mechanism. We want our stoichiometry excuse me, to cancel or to be equal. We also want our rate law to be equal to the slow step.